Uh, Salomon Makim, first and foremost, I want to give all praise and then glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kudash. I'd like to give double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to see Shalom to the elect that sees his word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to title this lesson Not at Hand. Which the things that are not at hand are concerning the plagues and you know the prophecies, the promises which Yahweh by Shinao Shah have declared from the beginning, man. You know, his plots and plans and purposes. You know, the things that's, that's written within the scriptures. These things are not at hand where pretty much these these words are about to fully blossom, man. You know? So, you know, I got this word at hand because now we can't say we almost there or we here, man. It's at hand. So let's get this word at hand. This is that word at hand, just a regular Google definition, and it says nearby. You know, readily accessible when needed. See? So, and that's why you see everything happening, man. That's why you see the prophecies concerning the famine, the prophecies concerning, you know, these different wars, race wars, civil war, class war, food wars, the pestilence. In any other scourge that's written within the scriptures, we see all these things brewing. You know, it's just not one aspect that you can focus on. All these things are going on. I tell you that in the book of St. Luke, matter of fact. Let's get this in the book of St. Luke real quick. 21. St. Luke 21. And verse 25. And it says, And there should be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring see so as you can see during this it's going to be it's going to be an appointed time you know where all these signs are going to happen at the same time you know all these things are going to happen at the same time signs in the heavens and also on the earth it says, and it said with perplexity, because the things that's about to come upon the planet Earth, uh, just just a, a regular human, you know, the, if you're not in this truth, you're gonna you're gonna fall apart, man. You're gonna be you're gonna be perplexed, you're gonna be wildered, puzzled, for the things that's about to take place on the planet Earth. Matter of fact, continue on. It said, men's heart fell in them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the Earth. See? So you're going to fall apart concerning these events that's about to play on the planet Earth. And they are at hand. They are really, ready, readily accessible. You know? Just like, a tr just, like just dealing with the famine. It only takes uh, one trucker strike. You know, the, the, these grocery stores only stock up every three days. It's not like the grocery stores have a month's supply of beef. Or, uh, you know what I mean? A year's supply of milk. You know, those things are um, constantly being brought in every, you know, few days, man. And that's going to suddenly happen because we here. It's at hand. It says, um, men's heart fell in for fear and, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. See? So this is how we know when the times, the times are being stirred up. We're coming to another chapter. Because the events that's playing on the planet Earth. And it's going to get to a point where these things are going to intensify. And it's going to fully blossom. Yeah, you see certain cases of where you can, you can uh, look at the family where you got uh, food shortages. You got food lines. You know. Guess what? It's going to get a point where that famine is going to intensify to now. Instead of you seeing people in food lines. It's going to get to a point you're going to see people chasing down people. Because they're going to be the food, man. But these things are coming and it is not at hand. So let's go back to this word at hand. It says really, readily accessible when needed. See? Hey, it goes some of the similar words. Available. Uh, uh, it says near to hand. 
within reach. See? These plays are within reach of these people, man. You know? Oh, it tells you the end, watch it for D. So meaning what? The end is actually a predator. And the people is a prey. The people, oh, they said that they're going to be snared in an evil time. They're going to be taken in an evil time. You know? It says uh, close by, near, nearby, at the ready. See? At the ready. At one's fingertips. At one's disposal. See? And this is how about Shemir on the side, which those spirits are created for vengeance, man. They are readily, readily accessible, man. They hear it. They in the cut. Ready for the Lord to get on the green light. You know? These 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 deaf angels ready for the Lord to get on the green light, man. And it's gonna happen on a sudden. It's not like you're gonna get a heads up when the money crashes. You get you get three days, a three-day heads up that the money is gonna crash, man. No, it's gonna come like a thief, man. You know? So that's why we gotta watch. Cause these things are are watching. The, 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 uh, like I said, just going back, just quoting again, Ezekiel 7 chapter, the end watches for you. you. Go to second definition, it said, close end time about to happen. These things are about to happen, man. We on the edge of our seat, man. Because they are readily available. It says imminent. Oh, see? About to happen. They were in imminent danger of being swept away. And this once again, and that's that's the perfect uh uh, example sentence Because these people are, are in imminent danger And what's going to sweep them away? The overflowing scourge Matter of fact, let's get that real quick Let's get that real quick In the book of Isaiah the 28th chapter Isaiah 28 And 18 It says And your covenant with death shall be disannulled And your agreement with hell Shall not stand See? Meaning what? Pretty much your trust in Esau, the so-called white man, is not going to work out. You side with him is ultimately going to lead to your death, man. It's not going to help you at all. It says, when, see, so it's going to be an appointed time when these things are going to happen. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then shall ye be trying down by, see. So it was going to be an appointed time when the overflowing scourge is going to pass through, man. And the ones that take hold of death or made a covenant with hell, they're going to be trodden down by it. They're going to be overtaken by the things that's about to come. You know? And some, when some is overflowing, which is a flood, it's, it comes on a sudden. You know? It, 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 it suddenly happens, man. Like that why it's, that's why it's called a flash flood. Is it, that, that an instant? Suddenly you was overtaken. And that's the time we in. And like I said, it's not in hand. It's not like this this is all hell gonna break lit, break loose ten years down the line, man. No, everything is 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 already put in place. Matter of fact, let's let's get this real quick in the book of uh Sirach 39 and 28. Sirach chapter 39 and verse 28. It said there are there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In their time of, of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. See, so as you can see, these spirits of, of, um, that were created for vengeance, they actually have a time where they show out. You know, which we in a time now where these spirits are going to show out to the utmost. See, we're about to see the famine play out at its height. We're about to see the sword play out at its very height, man. And uh, and also these other different plays, man. We're going to be we're coming to time with these different these these sore strokes is about to be poured forth, man. It says fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. See, so these different entities, which ultimately it leads to death. You know, we're gonna see these things at, at its very height, like the fire. Is this the fire that we about to see is, is not gonna compare? I mean the, the, the fire we're gonna see, you can't you ain't gonna be able to compare that fire to any other fire. Uh between you rubbing a stitch together, 
to you making a big bonfire to a house on fire with this fire is going to come from on high you know by the way these missiles and the fire from the cherry so then we're going to see the fire at its height the hell which are going to be by the way those those are uh, those warheads the famine like I said, we seeing these, they're going to be played out at its very height, which we in those, in this time. It says, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. See, and all these things are created for vengeance. Which we come into a time where the Lord, these, these spirits are going to be rele released on the planet Earth with no, uh, you know, no boundaries, man. No, no, uh, you know, it's gonna be a no holes barred when it comes down to these spirits of vengeance, man. Creative for vengeance. That's why the scripture says, um, uh, put the mark on, on the ones that's on that sign and crime, put the mark in the position on the elect first, then have your way with them, man. So, these these spirits of vengeance are gonna get, get busy, man. Pretty much, these deaf angels, man. It says, they shall rejoice in his commandment. See, meaning what. They, you know, like a uh, alligator is gonna enjoy being an alligator because they were created to do. You know, and same thing with these spirits of vengeance. You know, it was, it, you know, a fire is created to consume, and you know, these spirits were created ultimately for death, and they're gonna rejoice at that. I mean, they're gonna fulfill the commandments of the Lord. It says, and they shall be ready upon earth. And that's the point right there. Is at hand. Let's go back to this definition real quick. It says, close in time, about to happen. It says, imminent, approaching, forthcoming. See, about to happen. Just around the corner, on the horizon. See? Be oh, becoming apparent. Oh, that's heavy. Of an event regarded as threatening or significant, about to happen. Forthcoming. See? See? So these things are read upon earth. Let's get this again. It said, they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. See, why? Because this is the moment with these different uh, spirits of vengeance is going to show out to the utmost, man. The teeth of, you're going to ask it, the teeth of wild beasts, the sword, the famine. All these different uh, scourges the Lord is about to bring upon this place is at hand. It's not at hand. It's in the cut somewhere waiting on the commandment of the Lord, man. Though I said, when we, when need is, when when their time is come, see, it's an appointed time when these things are about to happen. And matter of fact, let's let's get there in Ezekiel seven since I quoted it because it tells you that it was going to be apparent. It's going to be clear that we was in these and uh, that it is at hand. Through the series of events that's playing out throughout the planet Earth, that we are in the end. This is Ezekiel 7. I start as verse 5. It said, Thus said the Lord, power and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. See? So Yahweh by Shemel Shai is pronouncing evil, and, and now we see it now, man. These things are coming apparent that this, this is what's going on, and it said, only evil. And that's why you see the condition. Of the, of the world, of the state of this current kingdom, this current rulership, the state is the state of this place is getting worse and worse, man. You know, it says an end is come. See, so you see, evils and end is is pretty much in the same. Cause the, you seeing the evils it, it lets you know that the end is come. It said the end, an end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. See, so the end is way because it's an appointed day where the money gonna crash. It's an appointed day where martial law is gonna take place. It's an appointed day where the microchip is gonna be mandated. It's an appointed day Jacob's trouble gonna happen. It's an appointed day where the destruction is gonna happen, man. But it said it's, the end is gonna be watching for you, man. You know. So meaning what? It's an appointed day. Each step, each day is really a footstep. Was we getting closer to the end, man? It's at hand. You know, but it said, Behold, it is come, meaning what? It's going to be made manifest that these things are here. Matter of fact, let's get this in the um, book of St. Luke 21. St. Luke chapter 21, and I started at verse 30. St. Luke 21, and 
It's like I started verse 29. And he spake to them a parable. Behold, the fig tree and all the trees. See, so as you can see, how I said, behold, the fig tree. Uh, look at the fig tree. Consider the fig tree. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. See, so as you can see, by the way, all the fig trees shooting forth. And now you see sprigs and leaves and figs. Now you know it's not at hand. So now, you, by the way of us seeing the military and just the local news now, us seeing that, you know, um, this money system is volatile. Everything is coming to shit. And just pretty much all these series of events that's playing out on the planet Earth, sedition among men, you know, uh, like I said, uh, you got these different protests, these these different um this this devil his money is collapsing man everything heading towards the digital society transhumanism uh war is the talk on the planet earth that's how we know these things are not at hand because we see the leaves coming forth we see the fruit is now sprouting man which is thought by the way it is word but now it's manifest that these things are not at hand you know, so yeah, I can. I just hope that we're edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakudash. I like to give double honors to the Pastor and Elders of Great Millstone, like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches word and our truth, faith, and sincerity. DTA, Abad Babal. Soon. Oh, Salaki, matter of fact, Salaki. Let's end off on verse 31. It says, So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that that the kingdom of the Most High is not at hand. So when we say the kingdom is at hand, that means this kingdom got to go down. So when we say the kingdom is at hand, that means destruction is at hand as well. You know, and we see these things come abroad. So shalom, Mikey.